Silim Tau, you got the Huin Sao. In, in the third section of the Silim Tau, you got the Huin Sao. So, what is this Huin Sao about, right? This cross circular hand. What is it about? So, in Wing Chun, we, we got this concept. For example, if his hand is in front of his shoulder, shoulder line, he got a lot of power. So, here, like when we do, when we do press up, he got a lot of power. So, he push me, it's a lot, he's really strong. But when I move his hand across his center line, now he push me, it's not that strong. I can maintain the position, I can attack him. Or if I move his hand away from his body, he's not strong as well, right? So this is the position I'm interested, and he don't want to be there. So imagine if I'm in here, I got a time so position, I'm in a good position, I can attack him, he don't want it. So he possibly will push me this way. So this is better for him, because I cannot attack him. Just imagine I'm holding a braid, I cannot cut him because I'm pulling there, yeah? So my job is I rotate and come back. So I recover the position. Now I'm in better position now. Then I can control him now, isn't it? Then now you do the hun. So the hun is always teach you how you're able to recover from a bad position to a good position like that. But without using force, because I just follow his force. So the idea is I feel and, and I feel the pressure and I connect it. I feel the pressure and then I use it to help me to do the turn. So every time I push, he turn. He push me, I turn. So in Chi Sao, this is what we do, or in Wing Chun, this is what we do. Because I don't like this hand, you know, this fist attack me, so I push it away. Then he have to come back. I have to come back. So this is the idea about the Huyn Sao.